This is a guide on reinstalling the front assembly on the Apple iPhone 6. For the installation process, we'll need the following tools. Suction cup, plastic pick, tweezers, small flat screwdriver, small Phillips screwdriver. The front assembly consists of the frame, the glass digitizer and the LCD screen. You'd need to replace the entire front assembly if any of these components are broken. It is important to turn off the phone before you start. Hold the power button and confirm shutdown on screen. First step is to remove two pentalobe screws at the bottom of the device. Once the screws are removed, place a suction cup next to the home button. Pull on the suction cup and insert a plastic pick between the glass and the aluminium body. Gently move the pick to separate the front assembly from the main body. Open the iPhone to a right angle, making sure that the front assembly will stay in vertical position until it is fully separated. In order to protect the device from a short circuit, we need to disconnect the battery. The battery connector is located under a metal shield. Remove two Phillips screws holding the shield in place. Set the shield aside. Use a flat screwdriver to open the battery connector. In the top right corner, you can see a small metal shield which is held in place with five Phillips screws. Remove the screws, keeping in mind their position. Remove the metal shield. The next step is to open the four connectors. Take a flat screwdriver and gently pop open the connectors. Separate the front assembly and place it on the desk. Put the replacement part beside it. Remove the protective film. The new front assembly is missing some important components. The big LCD shield, home button, front camera and the speaker box. All these parts we have to transfer onto the new front assembly. Start with the home button. There are two screws that hold a small metal shield and the home button in place. Remove the screws and set the shield aside. Take a flat screwdriver and pick open a small connector next to the home button. Use a plastic pick to detach the home button. Start removing the big LCD shield. There are three screws on the right, three on the left, one in the bottom and one on top. Take note of their position. Proceed on removing the upper shield covering the speaker box ribbon cable with the front camera and the proximity sensor. Remove two Phillips screws holding the shield in place. Set the shield aside. Now we can remove the big LCD shield. Take time to unglue the connector near the home button. Set the shield aside. The next step is to remove the speaker box. Carefully reposition the cables and using tweezers to remove the speaker box. Then remove the camera mount and the sensor mount. These components are made of transparent plastic. Gently separate the speaker box ribbon cable with the front camera and the proximity sensor away from the frame. This garland of cables might be glued in several spots, so take time to unglue it. Now we are ready to transfer these components onto the new front assembly. Take the replacement part and using tweezers, put the camera mount in place. Then replace the sensor mount. Next step is to replace the garland of cables with all the components. Carefully guide each component in its slot. Next, replace the LCD shield. Place the shield into the frame and under the cables. Make sure that the connector near the home button is positioned properly and is attached to the frame. Replace the speaker box and guide the camera into the circular mount. 
replace the upper shield securing it with three Phillips screws. The third screw goes through both upper shield and LCD shield. Replace the screws holding the LCD shield in place. One in the bottom, three on the right, and three on the left side of the phone. Next step is to replace the home button. Align it with the hole and attach it to the frame. Reconnect the home button's connector. Replace the shield over the home button. Secure it with two Phillips screws. Now we can connect the front assembly to the main body. Position the front assembly at the right angle to the main body, aligning it at the top edge. Snap in four connectors to the logic board. Caution! It is very important not to force any of the connectors. All connectors are very fragile. Replace the metal shield and secure it with five Phillips screws. Reconnect the battery and replace another small metal shield. Secure it with two screws. Close the iPhone and snap the front assembly into the case by going along the perimeter and pressing on the edges. Remove the protective film. Replace two pentilobe screws at the bottom of the iPhone. Turn the phone on and if startup graphic appears, the screen is installed correctly and we are done.